Hello everybody and welcome to Dan Tiles Gaming and Tech News Update episode 18 and have we got some amazing news for you and this is the only place for it. So AMD's Ryzen 3000 series Matisse CPUs have been listed by um, eCatalog along with specs. Um, so this originally leaked via Door TV about a month ago. Now eCatalog have put some placeholders in place and it is looking good. Um, so first of all, CES 2019 is going to be kicking off in six days time, which will be Tuesday the 8th of January in Las Vegas and is going to end on Saturday the 12th. And this is where AMD's keynote is going to come from Dr. Lisa Su, their president and CEO. And basically, she's going to be solving some of the world's toughest challenges to the future of gaming, entertainment and virtual reality with potential to redefine the modern life, um, which sounds absolutely brilliant. And more specifically, there will be details on the world's first 7 nanometer performance GPUs and CPUs. Yes, 7 nanometer is finally coming to mainstream which is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, can't wait to see what these are going to be bringing out. So let's move on over and first look at Ryzen 9 1300X. So this is going to be on the AM4 socket. It's going to have 16 cores and 32 threads. So this is only something we saw in Threadripper and now it's come to AM4. A base clock of 3.9 gigahertz, a turbo boost of 4.7 gigahertz, obviously 7 nanometer Matisse, which is their Zen 2 architecture, and a TDB, uh, TDP sorry, of 125 watts, which is only 30 watts more than the previous generation of CPUs. But obviously, where you're getting double the amount of cores and threads, I think 30 watts is really nothing too extravagant. Then we move on over to their next range of CPUs which is the Ryzen 5 and the Ryzen 7 um, so these have obviously now come to light and first of all Ryzen 5 they're 3600 and 3600 X so let's start off with the 3600 um, it's 8 cores and 16 threads a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz and a boost of 4.4 gigahertz with a 65 watt TDP um, so the 3600 X is the more overclockable version again same amount of cores and same amount of threads so 8 cores 16 threads it's, this one comes with 4 gigahertz and a boost clock of 4.8 gigahertz frequencies coming out your ears here guys you know this is something that we've been waiting from amd for a little while is getting those higher clocks and we're now hopefully if this is right by e catalog we're going to start seeing it uh, ryzen 7 3700 and 3700x so the 3700 is 12 cores and 24 threads a base frequency of 3.8 gigahertz and a boost of 4.6 gigahertz and then the difference again between these two is the x is a slightly more overclockable version again 12 cores and 24 threads this time with a base frequency of 4.2 gigahertz and a boost of 5 gigahertz now this this 3700X is absolutely amazing because this is matching Intel's i9 9900K, which is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU at 5 gigahertz, and AMD are giving this to you at 12 cores and 24 threads. So the performance here is going to be along the through the roof it's going to be absolutely amazing so like i said zen 2 is delivering the world's first 7 nanometer cpu and gpus for desktop and amd by improving the architecture here and the ipc over the last generation and along with their improved efficiency through the core design and node this is allowing us those higher frequencies that we've all been waiting for and that we've all wanted and yeah it's pretty much amazing like i said amd have added in a new family to this edition which is the ryzen 9 um so if you're going to be looking at buying a new system or you know converting your old system then it looks like amd is going to be the way to go and especially if it's backwards compatible as well you know am4 which you would would think it's backwards compatible actually being am4 then all you would have to do is take you know update your bios on your current uh, CPU and you can't motherboard rip it out or obviously don't rip it out be a little bit more gentler than that you know just take it out put in one of these new ones and away you go so this is absolutely fantastic guys 
again you know thank you all for coming along thank you all for watching if you did like the video then please do give me that thumbs up please subscribe to the channel please do hit that bell icon for more notifications from myself and i'll see you all in the next video